Hey folks, Karen here with castmuscleman.com and I launched my Thunderbird email today and noticed a big sign that says this year is it's 10 years. Thunderbird's been around for 10 years. And I'm thinking, oh wow, I didn't realize it had been that long. <laughs> so why do I use Thunderbird? I think actually it's the best email client you can have and here's why when you're an online marketer it's a good possibility that you may have several different email addresses depending on what you're doing so you might have a primary email address a personal email address um, a separate email address depending on the landing page that you're using you've maybe set up another email address to catch you know if you're doing online marketing like safe lists and solo ads and such like that so you'll have another email address to catch all of that and I've noticed that it's a lot more convenient just to launch Thunderbird and have all of your email accounts in that one server you can manage all of your email accounts together in that one place with Outlook it's fine for just one email account but you can't manage more than one email in Outlook the, the other convenient part about it is that instead of having to go to the web-based email you know going to gmail.com now I use Gmail it's one of the high, most highly recommended for free email addresses now I do have a primary one with my Comcast.com or Comcast.net but then for business and, and other things I always use Gmail so if you're using the web-based applications you log on to Gmail you check your email then you have to log out log into the other one or you have to keep you know switching or whatever I've, I really don't use web-based email because I find it's easier to have a client where you can set up your signature files and it's just a lot more convenient than having to go to their website go to your browser and hop around like that and that's where Mozilla Thunderbird is fantastic you can set up a signature file you can manage multiple email addresses inside of one program so what I'm going to do is take you through a screenshot on where to get Thunderbird downloading it and adding your email addresses into that hopefully you should know how to set up a Gmail address so I'm not going to get into that but I will show you how to add your different email accounts into Thunderbird and show you how easy it is to operate okay let's switch over to screenshot okay so here we are actually in um, Gmail and this is one of my Gmail addresses and you'll see here I can go to my inbox and all this other stuff now it's not on here because it's already downloaded into my Thunderbird but if I want to check my Gmail on my other one then I have to sign either sign out or let's see if it'll let me add an account so now I want to check the email here uh, now we're going to have to sign with a different one so I don't remember my password okay so this is the other thing that's inconvenient right here is you have to actually memorize your password so let's try something that it already remembers and I don't think it's, it's going to let me okay so I'd have to sign in here and right there that's pretty inconvenient is having to log out log in add an account if you have multiple accounts so I don't do that but you would go to gmail.com or it's called mail.google.com I guess to make a new address let's sign out because everything's through Google but I have one two three here that are rec that it's recognizing but I have about I think six email addresses so what we're going to do is do this let's go to let's just type in Thunderbird Mozilla Thunderbird so that's where you'll go 
Right now they're up to 34.1. So you would download Thunderbird here. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. Then you just follow the easy instructions on installing it and setting it up. Okay, now I have a little icon down here for my email, which you can't see. It's off the screen. But let's launch Thunderbird. And this is what I mean by it's really convenient. I have that's a primary, like a personal account. That's an old website that I use, but I still get email through here. Then I have one for my business. This is my primary Google one. That was from an old website I had. Then I've got my PayPal Sandbox email account. And I manage a couple of my husband's. Here's my Comcast account. I can add that in there. Here's another email account that I have. I have separate email accounts for my separate websites. And then I have just set up a new one for advertising. And the cool thing with Thunderbird is that it's not just for Gmail. As you can see, I have my Comcast.net email in here. If I had a Yahoo account, I could put that in here. It's, it's just a super, super convenient email client. Now, so say you have a brand new email that you just set up. Then you want to go to Tools, Account Settings. And then down the bottom here, you would click on Add a Mail Account. That's when you would put the name. And this is where, like, when you set up a new email account, you want to save your the email address that you set up and its password. And then Thunderbird has a password manager where it remembers all of the passwords for each of your different emails. I know I don't have any new ones to add, so we'll just let that go. And then on each one, you can either create a signature text for the email, so that's your signature file, or you can set up a standard one that, that you're going to use across all of the same emails and save it and just a, as a, a, an HTML file and then attach it. But the cool thing is, is that Unlike Outlook, where you have to do this and do that, Thunderbird will automatically set up your outgoing servers and all of that. It'll do that automatically when it reads the information from the server that it's pulling your email in from. But I just, I really love it. I came in this morning and... See, when I first launched, see if it'll show it to me again. There it is. Welcome to Thunderbird. Ten years. And I'm working now, it's January 2015, and I have 31.4. And it's, I think it just said it's currently up to date. Okay, yep, it's up to date. But this is just one of the best. I mean, I, I know people have used other different ones. I, I can't even remember what they are now. But I started using Thunderbird about three or four years ago, maybe even longer. Because I got tired of having to close Thunderbird after checking my Gmail accounts or going to the web-based. And then having to log out and open up Outlook, uh, Outlook or Outlook Express to check my Comcast email. And I'm like, this is just really ridiculous. So I just tried to see if I could pull my Comcast email into Thunderbird and it worked. So that's this is all I use now for my email client. I can do anything with this. It's just as good, in fact, I think better than Outlook. 
Okay, so hopefully this uh, will help you with managing multiple email addresses if you hadn't hadn't known about this before and it'll get you away from using web-based email. This is just a lot more convenient. Okay, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel, visit my blog, and we'll talk to you later.